Hey guys, today we are going to answer the question, how do I write and solve inequalities from word problems and real world situations? So remember, these are the four inequality signs, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. Let's talk about some other words that we could use to mean those inequality symbols. So less than, some other words that mean that are fewer than, smaller than, below or under. Greater than, some other words that mean that are more than, bigger than, over, or above. Less than or equal to, similar words are at most, no more than, maximum, and no greater than. And then greater than or equal to, some other keywords are at least, no less than, minimum, or no fewer than. So on number four, let's write an inequality to represent these situations. Number one says it rained fewer than five inches last week. So fewer than would mean less than. So the amount that it rained last week was less than five inches. X is less than five could represent that situation. Number two says Jose needs a minimum of an 80 on his math test. So minimum means that it could equal 80, but it can't be below it, so it would be greater than or equal to. So an inequality to represent Jose needs a minimum of 80 on his math test would be X is greater than or equal to 80. Then number three says Lawrence wants to spend no more than $155 at the store. So no more than is not going to be greater than, but it could be less than or equal to. So an inequality to represent this would be X is less than or equal to 155. Then number four says Nikki must be over four feet to ride the roller coaster. So over means that she needs to be greater than. So Nikki must be greater than four feet to ride the roller coaster. All right, let's look at number five. It says Nick is selling popcorn for a band fundraiser. He has already sold $25 worth of popcorn. If he sells over $100, then he will earn a prize. Each bag is $5. How many more bags does Nick need to sell in order to win a prize? So we're trying to figure out how many bags he needs to sell. So that is our unknown. So X is going to be the number of bags. Now that we've defined the variable, we can write the inequality. He wants to sell over 100. I'm going to start with that part because that's the inequality. He wants to sell over 100. So far, he's sold 25. And then he will keep selling each bag for $5. So that'll be 5x. So there's the inequality. He has sold 25. He's going to sell more bags for $5 each and he needs his total to be over $100. So now we're gonna solve this inequality. First thing I need to do is undo that constant of positive 25 by subtracting 25 from both sides. And I get 5x is greater than 100 minus 25 is 75. And then I'm going to divide by five, and I get x is greater than 75 divided by 15, or 75 divided by 5 is 15. So he needs to sell more than 15 bags to reach that goal, or greater than 15 bags. Okay, number six, Jackson had has $150 in the bank account. He wants to buy new shirts that are $15 each, each. If he wants to keep a minimum of $90 in his bank account, then how many shirts can he buy? So let's define the variable first. The question that it's asking for the unknown is how many shirts? So I'm gonna let X represent the number of shirts. So, so far he has $150, but he's going to buy shirts, so he's going to take away from that $150 to buy shirts that are $15 each. So that'll be 15x since x is the number of shirts. He wants to keep a minimum of 90 in his bank account. So, it can be greater than 90 or equal to 90, 
but that balance of 150 minus 15 for the shirts cannot be less than 90. So there's our inequality. So now I need to solve this for x. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove that constant of positive 150 by subtracting 150 from both sides. And I'm left with negative 15x is greater than 90 minus 150 is negative 60. And then I'm going to divide by negative 15. And since I'm dividing by a negative, I'll flip the inequality sign and I'll get x is less than or equal to negative 60 divided by negative 15 is positive 4. So that means he could buy four or less shirts to keep that minimum balance. Okay, number seven says the record snowfall in Chileville was 24.5 inches in one day. Currently, it has snowed 12.5 inches in one day and is snowing an additional three inches per hour. How many hours will it take for the current snowfall to be at least 24.5 inches? So the unknown that we are looking for is how many hours. So I'm gonna let X represent the number of hours that it's snowing. It says so far it has snowed 12.5 inches and it's going to snow an additional three inches per hour. And we just talked about how hours is X. So we'll do plus three X. And we want to know when they will break the record, when it'll be at least 24.5 inches. So that'll be greater than or equal to 24.5. And now I'm gonna solve this inequality for X to tell me how many hours it will take for them to beat that record. So I'll zero that out, bring down the three X is greater than or equal to 24.5 minus 12.5 is 12. And then I'll divide both sides by three and I get X is greater than or equal to four. So after four or more hours, they will have beaten the 24.5 inches record. Okay, last one. Asia is selling coffee mugs at a local craft fair. It cost her $100 to rent a booth and the coffee mugs cost her $7 each to make. If she hopes to spend no more than $450, how many coffee mugs can she make? So that is the unknown there. How many coffee mugs can she make? So I'm gonna let X be the number of mugs. So it says it costs her $100 to rent the booth and then it costs her $7 each to make. So since these are both talking about the cost and then we're comparing it to how much she's spending, I'm just gonna keep all of these numbers positive because we're just looking at her expenses here. So it cost her $100 to rent a booth and then the coffee mugs cost her $7 each to make and we already said that X was the number of mugs. And she hopes to spend no more than $150. So no more than means it could be equal to or less than but not greater than. 450. And now I'm going to solve this inequality for X. First thing I need to do is remove that positive 100 constant. So I'm going to subtract 100 from both sides. And I get 7X is less than or equal to 350. And then I'll divide by 7. And I get X is less than or equal to 50. So that means that she could make 50 or less coffee mugs.